All right, welcome back for our campaign as the Turks. It's been a little while since I've checked the objectives and it looks like the homelands is still the same. I thought earlier in the campaign Tripoli was one of my homelands objectives, but that might have been because I was not allies with the Egyptians. Maybe if you're allies with someone, it removes that from your required objectives. So we're doing decent. Looks like we're in third place behind the Italians and the Byzantines tied with the Hungarians. So conquest is where we're going to get our points for now. And we're getting a point for every four provinces we've conquered. Now right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I want to say we started off with four. <clears throat> so let's see. Income is good. Don't have any recruiting going on right now outside of boats. probably do that. So these guys are all being moved into Georgia. Oh wait, some no, some of these guys are already in here. Why am I not able to combine these troops? Let's see. Right, I guess these guys were just moving from the same area. That must have been it. Alright, so Georgia is pretty firmly held. The Byzantines still have a decent amount of troops over in Bulgaria, moving into Serbia and Cyprus to see what they have there. And let's get some more recruitment taken care of. So we'll go for Turkmen horse, normal archers, spearmen, heavy cavalry, It should be enough for now. So as far as construction, let's see, Syria. We're gonna produce Nizaris out of there. Not fully sure what they are, so we'll go down the spear line. Lesser Armenia, it's from Gulam Cavalry, so we'll go for the Horse Breeder in Lesser Armenia. And Anatolia, Turkmen Foot Soldiers. Hmm. Go for Spears. Nicaea, we have tradable goods, so we'll go for a port there. We'll get a trade post eventually, and then we've got construction going in Constantinople and elsewhere. Now, I've got a couple different generals over here. So we got some troops moving in. And I believe at the end of the last episode, I was planning on going into Greece next. Okay, they own Wallachia. Civil war has broken out. Oh my lord. <laughs> of course, I get to a point where I feel like I'm doing pretty good in the campaign and the civil war breaks out. So, okay. Rebel forces. Loyalist forces have more men. I wonder why that happened. I mean, surely it has to do with the loyalty. But I wonder if it has to do with loyalty of the lords that are spread out throughout the um, what would you call it throughout all your different territories or if it has to do with all your troops in general I wish there was more of an explanation on this alright do I wish to back the rebels if I back the rebels it's just one province no I don't <laughs> The rebels are outnumbered, looks like, five to one. 
So, where did they attack? Armenia? Georgia? <clears throat> Nicaea and Constantinople. So this is an easy win. This is just camels and peasants. Spearman. That's funny, they just automatically got automatically got that. Alright, so these guys will move in there as well. What else did I train? These guys won't be able to make it in one turn. forces so George is taken care of unfortunately that was my good general that that flipped the four star guy hmm. okay so the Italians are in Serbia the islands are pretty empty for the Byzantines so we'll check out Moldovia and Wallachia with our emissaries got finished. I wasn't quite paying attention to where it was. I think it was rum in Constantinople. <clears throat> so in rum, we will go for a swordsmith. We'll recruit some spearmen. Continue the recruiting around here. Okay, so these guys are going there. These guys will go to Constantinople. I'll actually pass on the archers here. I'll get peasants to maintain public order. Should be enough. Horse archers, archers, peasants, and armored spearmen against a four-star general with just camels and peasants. Oh, and I didn't notice. They, they're here too, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, so this is just urban militia. This is heavy cavalry and peasants. And then we can send some archers to support them. I'll get chewed up by missile fire. And then replace the archers with some peasants here. And I know I know for sure that I've been checking public order decently often, so it must have been the loyalty thing. Taxes are set everywhere. Okay, and construction in Constantinople. So got our first thing of boats. How much money we're getting from trade here? Let's see. Actually, we're not going to get much because, again, I don't have the shipping lane set. So we will go for. My troops can I train? Nothing. Nothing too unique. Kind of fucked. I are a cavalry. I'm not sure if I can get them with with the Turks. So I'll go for an Armorer's Guild. You can just produce these, these Turkmen horse. So 
So I'm trying to use WASD instead of scrolling around the other way. All right, should be enough troops distributed everywhere to deal with the rebels. See how that goes. I'm gonna be, okay, they're coming to help me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. All right, automatically resolve the defense. Okay. Okay. Victory, victory, victory. Okay. Oh, of course. Fucking hell. Okay. So the Egyptians got Armenia. Lesser, or lesser Armenia, I should say. Because of the size of their force compared to what I sent in there. Okay, so the generals got ranks. Check the... Okay, so that went down because of the famine. So the Egyptians will take care of that. It's unfortunate that I lost control of it, but... Not a big deal. Move extra forces over to... Hmm. Constantinople. In fact, we'll send some more over to... Georgia. gentlemen can hold the fort these guys can get over to Constantinople and hmm. governor can return here we'll take the peasants in with them we'll do another round of recruitment This time, money's flowing. For a keep in Anatolia. In Armenia, we will go for... Horse Breeders Guild. We'll work towards getting the max. I guess it would be a Master Horse Breeders, which will give the extra valor for our Armenian heavy cavalry that we're training there. In Edessa, we will go for Boyer Sapahi. Something's making me think that Sapahi are an explosive throwing unit. They have grenades or something like that. In Syria, still not much of a clue. We'll go for keep. Okay, so Moldavia is held by the Polish. I feel like I already knew that from before. I think I moved up there seeing who had the port there. Check Kiev, and then Crimea. I still want to hold a decent sized force in here in case, you know what? Actually, that's probably not necessary. The amount of troops that they have, if I have these boats here and they don't have anything in, the, in this Sea of Marmara, they can't transport troops over to Georgia anymore, so. I think the move is to go after some of this neutral territory. And what I'll do because they have decent troops is wait for these guys to arrive 
and I can bring another squad of archers and these men with his force and go after Khazar. to Constantinople. Construction check. Recruitment is probably not necessary. Let's check funds. So 2,800. It's a pretty good income for how much territory I have. And when I say good, I mean there's probably not much of a need. Okay, so they own Wallachia. Mother emissary. That was one of the uh, messages that I skipped past. I don't see him in any of these in any of these port towns. All right, so we will get another emissary from Rome, and I want to keep training ships at Constantinople once this one's done. A lot of archers from them. A lot of archers. So I'm going to want to get armored units <clears throat> where I can. And now I know they have reinforcements in case I were to hit Bulgaria. But not if I were to hit Greece other than whatever they might have on the islands. Which last I checked was basically nothing. Pretty sure I issued that move command but I can't really see this guy's stands behind that flag. So we'll halt recruitment for this one and uh, get some more troops consolidated over in Constantinople. Okay. Nice. A lot of losses, but Just okay, or a bowyer. Okay, so I see you. We got our port. So we'll go for a keep. And we can get the shipyard for better trading. And also we can start getting more ships pumped out so that we can put the trade goods we have to better use. place I had trained. Okay, so I can get desert archers here. Ottoman Sepahi. Ballistic crew and Apotha throwers. Let's try to figure out who these Sepahi guys or unit type is. I'll go for a siege engineer because I'm assuming some form of scene uh, siege engineer is what you're gonna need to get the guys that throw explosives. All right, so Kiev is held by the <clears throat> Poles, and Crimea is not held by anyone right now. Got another emissary. Send this guy into Wallachia. Now, time to start putting the force together. So, I'm going to make sure my king has a healthy squad. I'm going to use him to go after Greece. So anybody without full health is going to move over here. I'm going to get him some foot troops. Spearman. Got a 
lot of archers in there already. To be fair. More spears. Alright. Should be enough to deal with them sending reinforcements from Bulgaria. Now what I need to do is also let's see. Well, this is all gonna get jumbled together anyways. When uh, they might counter strike, so I'm not gonna worry about consolidating these guys for now. But let's send our king to Greece, and then depending on what kind of reinforcements they send, maybe we'll back out. Let's see, are all these guys going to... Constantinople, I believe. Definitely feel like I want more spears. They have large shields, so... They should be able to soak up some arrows from the Byzantines' military composition. This is going to take two more years. I'm okay waiting that. And wow, this area looks really, really wide open. I'm not sure why I have vision into these areas. I guess because they're bordering, but it doesn't make sense that I have vision into these three, but not this. Unless there's just nothing here. I do need to be aware that I am bordering the Polish now. And they do not have any, any opponents militarily. Construction. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So they backed out of Greece. Interesting. And what we'll do is we will leave... Are they allied with the Italians? They are not. The Italians are allied with the Polish, though, so if either one of them goes after us, we have to be conscious of that. A decent force here in Constantinople. Definitely want to keep reinforcing it. Greece has trade goods, so we'll get a post up there. And recruit some peasants to help maintain public order so I can ship more troops out. Now let's see, this time around, I'm gonna make sure that if I pick someone with good acumen, they also have good loyalty. I was not doing that intentionally. So, okay, this heavy cavalry is good. Trebizond, open for construction. So in Trebizond, I'm re raise those taxes. I forgot that dropped down because of something that happened there. Now, I had been wanting to get a ship right here. 
What do I need for Trebizond archers? <laughs> Sorry if you can hear my dog snoring in the background. He is in a deep slumber here. Let's go for a shipwright. Get more boat production. I really do want to get my, my trade lanes up. And then in Rom, we just got the... Mm, what's it called? The uh, swordsmith, so we can get Gazi infantry now. Now these guys have... Weak defense. Look like they got decent shields, though. Train some of them. Some more... More spears, more Gazi infantry. More spears here. Where else can I get spearmen? I could have sworn. Maybe it was Lesser Armenia that I also could get them from, but I don't have that now. Take away. Okay, public orders, mostly good. Kazar is gonna be bad. And that I need to account for. So let's reroute some of our troops. Archers there, we'll get some heavy cavalry. So we'll have two turns to get more units over here. Desert archer versus normal archers. Not sure if one is particularly better, depending on where you're training them. Almost forgot to do my construction in Rome. So I'm getting these Gazi infantry now. This place specializes in Ottoman infantry. I'm gonna go for a castle and see what that unlocks for us. Part of me wants to empty out everything I can from Greece while maintaining public order and to attack Bulgaria with the troops that I have here. My only concern is that if if, say, the Italians were to attack me because of me not having this defended, it would probably be pretty disastrous for my military, and I, I would probably take a lot of losses. And I want to make sure that I have a good, a good hold on Constantinople before I do anything much more in emptying troops out of there. Potentially losing them in Greece and in, in a fight in Bulgaria would not be good, so... For now, we'll hold ground and uh, keep on moving forward. Yep, so there they go. They're probably gonna back out there. Okay, that's about to fall. Keep the siege engineer got completed. So siege engineer was in here. These Napatha throwers. Good versus armor, and they are armored. Okay. Short range artillery. A sphere. Probably be good for me to mix in some kind of uh, unit like unit like these Napatha throwers and these ballistas into my military. I'm assuming having unit diversity is good for the strength of your forces as far as how they do auto resolve in this game georgia we want janissary archers so let's see what going forward in the bowyer does for us these guys got resorted i did set up my construction where i needed it okay recruitment has continued so that is still looking disastrous. Get them in there. Them. 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 Some Gazi infantry heading up there as well. Desert archers. And spearmen. 
and then to continue, that should be enough going up into Khazar. We will also continue reinforcing Constantinople. Okay. Cool. That looks good. So this is going to last. It's about to fall. Okay. <laughs> We'll see what happens there. It's above a 50-50 chance of me holding it for at least the next turn, so that should be fine. Okay. <laughs> of course. All right. That was, that was pretty good timing. So let's see. <clears throat> We've got more troops arriving. What is this going to give? Dread, okay. Give that to this guy. All right, dude. They've got all healthy troops and we've got a lot of damaged troops. So here are the reinforcements and we'll see what happens. Send all three of these ships to the Black Sea. Try to knock them out of there. <clears throat> Surprise, Greece is not famous for any type of troop. Go for better public order there. Instructions going everywhere. Now recruitment. These gentlemen all sent over to Constantinople. Curious to see how strong the Byzantine boats are. Hopefully, I can knock them out of the Black Sea. Ooh, that was close. adjust. Kazar is good, but we're going to need to get more troops involved, as well as watchtowers and town militia. In Armenia, there we go, master horse breeder. And in Greece, we will go for in fact, how's the farming in Greece? 461, okay. So we'll expand the farmland. And then our income is, is great right now, so more, more training is in order. Okay. <clears throat> 
what I'll do here is I'm actually going to swap my king for another general. I do want to keep that force of high quality troops there. The Italians have a lot of missile vulnerable troops. See what kind of missile power we have here. Some archers. So we'll send one more squad of archers over this way. And this will be our defense force in Greece. And then our king will join up with some of these troops here and prepare to go after Bulgaria. I'm going to enter that province and see if there really is just absolutely nothing there. Okay, got our first ballista set up. Very nice. Quick diplomacy check. Nothing too wild going on. the Italians, I wonder if they're, they just went to war with the French. Okay. Let's see if we can hit them. So they have Dramon, so they are one attack and four speed, and then my troops are one attack, one defense, three speed. Construction in Constantinople. Got the good armor. We'll go for the. Hmm. So we'll get a merchant set up here. In Trebizond, we will now go for the. Bowyer's Workshop. Okay, looks like everywhere else is going. troops from here into Bulgaria and still be pretty safe here because they don't have boats right now to deal with transporting troops over here. I think that makes sense for me to move, move guys that way. back here. I did it to the right province, right? Income is still healthy. troops that I'm missing so I'll just continue training as as I've been doing we'll get a little bit more camels and it's just about time to get in here so let's see send our king Yeah, right now there are no routes to Constantinople, so I should be able to send just about everybody. As long as I leave... Save that for 
public order. It's good enough for now. I should be able to match what the Byzantines have. Although uh, they have a lot of royalty. Good ranking general. And probably fresher troops. So you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'll back out for now. We'll get some, we'll get another wave or two of troops in there. And I think that'll do the, do the trick. <clears throat> for a second, I was feeling pretty confident going into Bulgaria, but all right, nice. I would rather be sure than risk getting counterattacked in a very valuable province. So we've got the Black Sea under control. Can we move? No, we can't move two provinces at a turn or at a time. <clears throat> Still more ships to train. Still more units to produce. Should be good for now. Okay, so we got a lot coming from there. These guys coming in. Okay, okay. My apoth throwers are done. It's nice. Yeah, this place is just empty. <laughs> That's so random. Okay, so we'll send him over to Crimea and see what's going on there. Actually, that's not going to tell me anything useful. We'll send him to Kiev. Moldovia. Or Mold Moldavia. Kiev, I, I was about to go into to see preemptively if they were moving troops around. But I have a watchtower in Khazar, so I can see in there anyways. Now, this guy's gonna be the, what do you call it? The Emir there. So we'll have him hold tight. And, Let's see, am I feeling like this is enough? This should be enough now. Okay. And more troops are on the way. In fact, I'll make sure I'm training everywhere. They get a good, good size amount of troops back into Constantinople to refill whatever I lose in this battle. Which they'll almost surely bring everything they can out of Wallachia to reinforce. And now we're starting to work on getting some superiority on the sea. And I'm looking at the time and it is 44 minutes in. So I'm going to wrap up here. So on the next episode we'll really be seeing what happens in this battle for Bulgaria and looking to really start taking advantage of, of boats, getting trade with the Egyptians, potentially the Italians, and then threatening the Byzantine islands once we've taken this area. So anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next episode.